I'm Zoe Pedden, I'm Chief Juggler of Insane Logic. We're a software development company that builds educational products, and our first one is called My Choice Pad. I'm Will from My Kind of Crowd. Uh, we connect students with the world of work and their future. I, I seem to spend a portion of my time applying for grants, awards, things like that. How about you? Do you do, you do any of that? Yeah, I have a schedule. Oh, do you? Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's on your list. I tend to look at them and assess whether they're right for the stage where I am now. A year ago, it was totally different. Um, so the money has to be substantial now for me it to make the effort. It has to be a cash, cash prize. Not Anything necessarily. There's other ones that I've done for promotion. I think it's trying to get a snowball effect. So if you're going for investment of being always in the news, people mm. talking about you, they're hearing about you. So getting that momentum around so investors know about it. But if it's a social enterprise type one, the cash needs to be there now because otherwise it's, it's not worth my time because usually social enterprise applications require three years of cash flow and all yeah. sorts of financial stuff. It's going to take me three to five hours, whereas that I could get a few sales in that time. So it's not a good payoff for me. Whereas there are other ones which are totally about getting the media, which take me half an hour to fill in. So uh, Half an hour is a quick win. Yeah. I try and cap it at <laughs> about two hours. If mm. I can do it you know, of an evening or a Sunday mm. morning, I'll do it. And um, I, I, the things I really look for are, one, either um, PR, so whether there's mm. a benefit that can get us noticed by more people, or um, kind of pro bono support if it's, if it's really there. You know, when we're applying for those things, when I'm applying for those things, some of them appear as if they're partnerships. You know, is it an award, is it a prize, or is it a partnership that can help grow our business? Um, and we've formed kind of commercial partnerships as part of our core business with organisations um, like UCAS or City and Guilds or the Times Educational Supplement, and they give us a real uh, fixed benefit, so perhaps reaching their members um, in return for something. Whereas um, other awards that we have applied for, um, like the Ernst & Young program or the Deloitte, <coughs> um, are, are kind of not, not so commercially core to our business, but they provide support and benefits. I find having a network of advisors really valuable. And I think the difference is, you know, when you were talking about mentor, these aren't people who will, you know, spend ages and ages with me, uh, you know, every week or whatever. But I do feel they're supporting me and the point that you made about if I have a question, a specific question uh, that requires a speedy answer, they'll give it to me. And what I've found is by having a range of advisors, and depending on the different situation I'm facing, you know, I'll ask a different person, um, and I may choose to ignore their advice altogether. Mm. But, but I feel that it's yeah, a real benefit. I perhaps don't make as good use of my network of advisors or if I've found the mm. right ones yet, so I'm not there yet. I say go for it. Mm. <laughs>